Right. I'm curious, yeah. Trump's busy, right? He had some other things going on last night. Yeah. He's in New York this morning. Is he watching these debates? What do you hear? Yeah, I'm sure. And thanks for having me. And listen, kudos to News Nation. Y'all did a great job with the debate. I've been, I've worked many of spin rooms for many years and debates. And this, y'all did a great job. So kudos to that. And yeah, yeah, I'm sure everyone's watching it. You know, um, it is a little humorous, as you can see, with all the back and forth exchanges. We knew there was going to be, you know, who could fight to get second place or what have you. So we knew there was going to be a lot of fireworks. And there certainly were. So let's get to a few of them. Uh, Chris Christie did not hold back. He has been very consistent in his criticism of the former president, called him angry, a bitter man, wanting retribution. Let's play it. He started off his campaign by saying, I am your retribution. Eight years ago, he said, I am your voice. This is an angry, bitter man. What's your response to that as a, as a Trump supporter? Well, you know, Christy, you know, I know Chris. Uh, I, I watched him beg for a job in the uh, 26th floor at Trump Tower way back in 15. Uh, President Trump literally resurrected him his career based on the, the quote Bridgegate and many others, as Vivek was saying about uh, Nikki and Ron, you know, if it wasn't for President Trump, he made a valid point uh, saying, hey, you know, these guys were always, as, as I say, licking the boot, if you want to use that term, what Vivek said, and that's true. So, you know, he's trying to find a way, you know, um, he's, you know, he's, he, he's running a, a campaign on anti, uh, anti-Trump. I think he's trying to win a contributorship at ABC News again or whatever. So um, I don't see any of these polls moving for any of these candidates. And we all know that President Trump is, quote, the true incumbent. And respectfully, he did help and elevate everyone's career on that stage. Uh, I don't know if everybody knows that. I spoke with Pat Brady uh, at the top of our nine o'clock hour. He's the former chair of the Illinois Republican Party. And I said, you know, is the math there for another candidate to come out of the shadows? And he seems to think that there is. Let's let's cue that. Trump was on that stage, though. I mean, you cannot deny it. The math just doesn't seem to add up for anybody else. Moving into Iowa 40 days from now, what do you anticipate seeing? Will the ground game change at all? I agree. And, and we haven't cast one vote yet. Okay. We haven't had one. And a caucus is different. And we can go through a so whole. So you don't buy the polls? I don't buy it because it's like, oh, he's. No, no, he hasn't. He's below 50% in Iowa. Haley gets second. She's got a shot. Go to New Hampshire. New Hampshire, I remember when John McCain ran in 2000, 2008, he was dead. He ended up beating George Bush by 19 points. These things, again, the sequential, these are momentum games. And if you get some momentum going, which you can, and I think there are a couple candidates that could, I think people are making a huge mistake. Think, first of all, thinking these debates were a waste of time because we've seen we have some really good candidates up on that stage. I don't know, Bruce, does he have a point here? Are we, um, are we counting our, our ducks eggs before they hatch or whatever the saying is? <laughs> Well, you know, I put on my former chairman hat. I was a former chairman here in Georgia, so I'll just put that hat on for a second. You know, listen, I started in this uh, political game since I was 18, working for Reagan, and I can see the tea leaves very crystal clear. But remember, you got we have an advantage here. President Trump is a true incumbent. You're talking about a person that you can actually go back and see very successful voting. Uh, well, should I say, uh, uh, you know, what he did in, in 2000, you know, from his tenure as president. And you see all the great uh, initiatives on cutting regulations, um, the Trump tax cuts. Um, and the Iowans, real quick on Iowa, if you notice that he did a very good job on bringing back and holding China to the fire as it relates to protecting Iowa farmers. And that's very key. So there is a record of President Trump. And the, the American voters see that. They've gotten to have, you know, past all the, the noise, as you might say. They said, you know, I, I might not have cared for all the certain comments or whatever, but I can't take away the record. And I don't, we know what we're getting with him. We know he's going to defend this. So I have to respectfully disagree. I know it might be helpful for you, for the former chairman of the do I think it's going to happen, but we're going to sweep Iowa, uh, New Hampshire, as well as South Carolina. And everybody knows it.